Dianne Feinstein and a Chinese spy, the unsuspecting mole who got a front row seat to the senator's dealings for two decades. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Ken Bassita. Let's get right to Night Beat's Andrea Borba, live in front of the Chinese consulate in San Francisco. Andrea? Well, Ken Elizabeth, the would-be spy, was apparently recruited during a family vacation. And his mark, Senator Dianne Feinstein. The Spy Who Drove Me sounds like the title of a James Bond movie. Instead, it's a rip from the headlines reality from Politico and the San Francisco Chronicle about Senator Dianne Feinstein. First, Politico revealed that a Feinstein staffer was a Chinese spy. Then, in Matir and Ross, more. Citing an unnamed source, the column revealed the Chinese spy was Feinstein's driver for 20 years, who also served as a gopher in her Bay Area office and was a liaison to the Asian American community. He even attended Chinese consulate functions for the senator. Senator Feinstein was the chair of the Senate Intelligence Committee at the time and was reportedly mortified when the FBI told her she'd been infiltrated. KPIX 5 security analyst Jeff Harp, former assistant special agent in charge of the San Francisco FBI office, says he isn't surprised the San Francisco senator was targeted. If you think of the number of government employees there are that are in positions of trust and confidence, you know, anybody that sits on the Senate Intelligence Committee, they all have a, you know, a top secret security clearance and even higher. And those people are all prime targets of opportunity. This is no different than what we would do on foreign soil to try to recruit those same individuals into our intelligence network. The investigation concluded that the driver hadn't leaked anything substantial and Feinstein forced him to retire. Feinstein isn't the only target of spy games in the Bay. So the Bay Area is, has a unique uh, position in the espionage community. There's a lot of uh, what you want to call industrial espionage and also people who are in positions of trust and confidence within high corporations. It was just last month when a former Apple engineer was arrested for trying to take the company's autonomous car secrets to China. And remember the papal-like puffs of black smoke coming out of the Russian consulate in Pacific Heights last September? Right next to an odd array of communications towers, Harp says kicking those so-called diplomats out of the country hasn't slowed espionage. Just because we shut the Russian consulate does not mean that the Russians are no longer interested in what goes on here in the Bay Area. China the same way. The Chinese approach things from a little bit different, but they also have an interest in, you know, the economy here, you know, how to get uh, political influence here. Now Feinstein's office says they do not comment on personnel matters and that no one here in the California office has security clearance. The FBI also did not comment on this case. On the Night Beat in San Francisco, I'm Andrea Borba.